meeting notes here. I can. Uh, okay, we're going. Go ahead and paste it in the chat. Welcome to the evolution meeting group. Oh, Carter, Carter already shared it. Step ahead of me. Um, and I'll I'll share the minutes with everyone as I find that window. There we go. Meeting minutes shared. So this is December 2nd. Um, feel free to add your name. Apparently we did not take any notes on, or did we, I know we met, but somehow did not manage to keep any notes. Yeah, <laughs> which is odd. Yes. Yeah, we met for the full 50 minutes and we talked about a bunch of stuff. I guess we just forgot to write it down. Yeah, so um, note, to, note to working group, uh, assign a scribe. And the scribe ideally is not the person who is uh, coordinating the meeting. I can so, generally take notes. I, this is a meeting that I don't like, I don't know. I usually listen more in this yeah. meeting so I can take, take notes. Okay. I believe the, I don't think the agenda from two meetings ago is altogether off. What we did last meeting is to, I think Elizabeth and Carter, correct me if I'm wrong, is we tried to identify the metrics we wanted to work on um mm -hmm. primarily does that sound right yes and then i think didn't we spend some time working on one of them as well we did the, yeah the branching yeah we worked on branching. life cycle it was yeah. something with branching i remember that okay branching that's right life cycle and strategies yeah yes that's yep. what it was yeah so um let me bring up the spreadsheet because that should have a link to the branching and life cycles. One, of course. Ooh. Classifications and all together intuitive to me. Where is it? It's uh, it's on line twenty eight six. Line twenty six. Yep. All the way over on the right. All right. Sean, are you in a different monitor or are you just sharing that one window and it's a little bit small? I'm, just, I'm sharing the one window because uh, um, my experience is it's, it lets people with smaller monitors see things better and mm -hmm. don't generally leave the browser. Whereas mm -hmm. when we're doing like Augur meeting, we're often going back and forth from the browser and other things. Right. Um, so uh, we did, let me just widen this a little bit so we can see the comments. Um, and so this is uh, one, one that we were working on. So I guess, Matt, you can add that to the minutes. Bef Carter, Carter, before we go through this, and begin work on it again. Should we just take a quick look at outstanding issues and pull requests? Um, I think in the past meetings we have addressed pretty much everything. Um, yeah, I think we've talked about all of the open issues. Okay. In past meetings. Yeah. Because I recognize all of these, and there haven't been any new PRs since the last meeting either. Okay. I don't believe. So I th I think we're fine. So the the way that we classified things in the last meeting is, first of all, I, I had a misunderstanding of what the difference between considering and in progress were, <laughs> um, and so we had uh, so the in progress ones are the ones that we're targeting for the next release, which is one of the things we got clarity with each other on during the last meeting. Am I recalling that correctly? I believe so. So the first the, the first um, note is that branch lifecycle is not in that category, although we've advanced it 
quite a lot. Um, we also have a lot of things um, that we're working on for the next release, which we have we have now until the end of January to work on, right? Yes. So um, maybe what I'll do is um, under, let's see if I can edit and paste without formatting. You could command shift V might paste without formatting. Okay. Let's just try to create a list here of things that we are. Command shift V working on. And maybe with this number of things, we want to establish a sort of a person who may, might be the driver of the development, not the only person contributing, but um, the person who sort of leads the charge. Um, that, about for a group of metrics or for this specific metric? Um, for well, so I had I, I was mentioning that we have identified a number of metrics that we want to release, mm -hmm. uh, and with with that in mind, um, it might be helpful if if we uh, gave action items to sort of lead uh, different no different of these metrics, or we just iterate. We could just work through them. We have probably three meetings including this one between now and um, when the metrics would be released. So mm -hmm. um, I don't think so, we're gonna work through all of these in the meeting. Yeah, if you wanna take time to, and something that does work well in the other working groups is even just taking 10 or 15 minutes of like silent work time Yeah, in the meeting and just, we all focus on whatever change request iteration, you know what I mean? And yeah. Start to, it works really, really well. So mm -hmm. have everyone work on their own individual metric during the meeting. The, or, the or, or, or we collectively work on one. Yeah, with branch lifecycle, we spent a good deal of time sort of sorting out what that means. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't know if it might make sense to accept some of these changes at this point, so it's more readable and then edit from here. Probably That's so. That's what I was gonna suggest. This, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna. For just me, think. the text is all in different shades of purple, pink, purple and pink, and all of the highlighting's in red. It's so oh why, yeah. Why don't we just much easier now? <laughs> I'm just gonna accept these ideas, okay. and we can iterate further with markup. That sounds good. But that way, at least we've we've we can read it. <laughs> So this is a metric that is planning on being released like yes. in January kind of thing. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, and we settled on a question um, or we, we discussed this as the main question. Um, this is a more general question that space fish. Which is me. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if we, are you suggesting we replace the question with this? That is, I don't know. That is more general. I, yeah, I just, it was under the question. So I didn't know if that was uh, an alternate one that we wanted to consider that somebody put there or if it what was used to be there and we just didn't delete it in case we wanted to come back to it. Mm -hmm. I'm just not sure. The second question, don't expect the branches persist. Did someone, oh yeah, we're recording. I'm not sure which of these questions I. So the, the discussion, yeah, the dis, so the, the reason the persist thing, which is a more complex question is what I think King was getting at. Um, because sometimes projects create branches, often projects create branches for a feature and then the branch is de destroyed. Sometimes projects maintain um, a number of branches 
that mm -hmm. they, they continue to work on and, and don't destroy many. Uh, the the rate of creation destruction, etc., is is the metric. So this would be included in the metric. The question is, does it need to be included in the question, or could the question be kept more simple with something like this? And is that going to be easier for someone to consume? Mm -hmm. And maybe Matt and Elizabeth, you have a broader experience knowing what questions, what kind, what what sort of question is going to help people know what we're doing here without overwhelming them with like this question up here has a lot of nuanced um, jargon in it. So I don't, I don't know if it's more or less useful than the other option we have on the table. So I think your last comment about the nuance was exactly what I was stumbling on with the top question. So let's make this the question then. Um, I, well, there, no, I do want to say, Oh, go I was Sorry, going. Peter. I was going the other way. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Just because. That's what I was the, about to say. Yeah. The the other one is it seems pretty technical, and the bottom one is just like how do you manage your branches basically. So which one did you want to keep? I liked the bottom one just because. Okay, yeah, I was moving so it up to the top. That's what I was doing. I wasn't actually. Oh. What I was going to do is this. Okay. And then since we just agreed I to see. that. Let's yeah. just take the train checking out so it's readable. Um, well, I, there is something that I liked about the first question versus this one. With using the word manage, I, this question is specifically about life cycles and about when they're created and destroyed and the conditions surrounding that. To me, management is more than just that. It's like, how do you manage merges between branches? Who gets to work on what? Like assigning it. I think the part from the previous question about and to what extent do they persist was the key part of that question. Yeah, I like this better. When I added the life cycle of? Yeah, I think specifically saying, talking about their persistence and when they're created and destroyed and the conditions surrounding that. I think that makes this question more specific, but still approachable. So maybe to your point then, Carter, like the question could stay here, but then in the description, Mm -hmm. This is this is when it could bring up things like persistence. It could bring up things like why they're yep. created, why they're destroyed. Mm -hmm. I like that. And I think I think actually Benad did a good deal of editing on the description um, to bring it on. So do we want to spend ten minutes um, editing and reviewing this for, uh, for where it's at right now? Just before we go, I have some suggestion also to make, for example, where we are really looking branches in the broader sense of it, which is, I think it is also good. Now, if we go back, even I think 2005, Microsoft did some works and we can also learn from what they did and those kind of work. OpenStack has also followed a kind of uh, practical use cases. Now, um, sorry. My, so did you? I can't remember. Uh, did you maybe there would those be links that you would add under the? Uh, li, li, Elizabeth gave us some really outstanding links about branching strategies um, in the last meeting. Um, is this what what you mean? These kind is there? You're saying there's something from Microsoft? That was a research paper by Thomas uh, Zimmerman. I think I uh, shared it sometime, but I don't know. He did it with, uh, in collaboration with Queen's University. And I think the practice also, maybe if you click on the, 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 the Azure thing, might be it's the same uh, document, I don't know. But that one is really a, a strong finding from Microsoft about this branching. Okay, this is now the practice and this practice is based on the, on the, on, on the finding, yeah. So this uh, this link reflects the Microsoft. Um, yeah, the studies that they did at Microsoft. It's by Thomas Zimmerman. It's one of the pioneers at uh, Microsoft Research. Yeah, and, and it doesn't. I don't see his byline. So there's a separate link from Thomas Zimmerman. Yeah, because now the the key is they try to really focus more on.
collaboration on why sometimes future branching is not really a good idea. So the, 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 the findings, like the end findings of that paper and what OpenStack ecosystem is also uh, practicing, they both agree that future branching is not really a good idea and should not be encouraged. So I'm just giving this so that whatever we are working along the line, we should just have those in mind. Um, can you share the link? Um... Both of, okay, so I'll share the paper here and the link, the future branching at OpenStack as well. Yeah, because I think if you just um, add that link there, then the, the rest of us okay, can, let me, let me read it. Okay. Just give me a second while we are working. I will look for this link and put them here. And I think I think with branching, like with the, we talked about this in the last call as well. We want to maintain some kind of neutrality with regards to what your branching strategy in this case is. There, there are a lot of different options. We're not, we're not trying to say one is, I think it's including the reference that you mentioned is important to help people decide what is optimal in their context. Mm -hmm. uh, but we don't want the metric definition to make a choice about what's better, if that makes sense. Like that's a kind of a value that we've maintained through chaos that we want to define what we're measuring and let organizations apply their context to whatever value judgments they want to make uh, uh, pertaining to those, uh, to, the, to the resulting metrics. Does that, do you know what I'm saying? Did we lose Armstrong? Sorry, I was a, a little bit my I was a little bit distracted with the line. Yep, no problem. Um, so all I said was that we don't want to like I, I I like the idea of adding additional references that have different perspectives on best practice branching strategies. I only pointed out that in the development of the metric itself, we don't want to make those value judgments about what is better that we let the organization or the repository do that in their own context. Okay. So just, just if we kept that in mind as we um, edited this uh, and I mean, I mean we can say like in the text, we can say things like suggestions on how to deal with branches are provided by and then yeah. link to reference so something is, like that. By mentioning them, at least we acknowledge that we are not ignorant of yeah. what we've done. It's just that we don't want to sound opinionated on how people should handle things. Because when things is based on empirical finding, we cannot also just uh, neglect, but we can we just bring things out of the light and say, okay, this is yep. what this is what is putting now. How do we walk around those? Yep. Armstrong, can you drop that link in the chat? Yes, I'm that looking. Article? Yes, I'm, that's what I'm looking for right now. Why okay. we are, I'll, I'll drop it and then I'll notify us when you Because then I'll, I'll make sure to get it into the references of this metric. Okay. That's good. So Sean, are we spending time working on the metric? Yeah, I, I, I started editing um, 
while while Armstrong looked for the link. I think I think we want to, unless there's objection, maybe to give this ten minutes of of editing. And I started with the description because I wanted to, for myself, understand if the thing the parts of the discussion that we just had are reflected. Okay, that is the paper that I just uh, sent for Microsoft. Okay, awesome. that's in the Zoom chat. Yeah, and Sean, if we're gonna work, you could stop recording for ten minutes, just so. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I didn't start the recording. I will do that. Thank you, Elizabeth. I only so say that. I only say that. So we edited this life branch lifecycle document for a while, and now I want to discuss the changes uh, that are suggested. I made a number of changes in description and objectives that I think clarify the purpose of the metric and make some of the things that we're trying to say a little bit more clear. But I may, have, of course, have changed the meaning in some cases. So I'm interested in uh, feedback on that as well as on changes that were made to the objectives, um, the aggregators, and the filters. And there are some comments down below um to address as well there's not a way to like preview all the changes is there um no we've we've struggled with this with google docs in the past i believe even in the last meeting and I thought we can I thought there was a way, but I was not able to figure it out myself. I thought you figured it out though, Carter. Uh, if I did, I've forgotten. It's all right. It's not that bad. I was just curious okay. if anybody knew of one. It, it is a little annoying. Um, Yeah, I like that. There is a uh, preview accept all option. Oh. Ooh, where, where is, is, that? Where is I, it? I don't I don't know. I went to help and if you type in preview, there it just pops up as preview accept all. So I don't know where it actually ah, exists, but <laughs> this is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Carter, if, if you can, if, any, if anybody can find that, um, we can do it. If you just go to help and type in preview, it will mm -hmm. pop up. I don't, I don't know where it exists, but preview accept all. all. Okay, so there we are. We're in preview accept all right now. I think if I hit the accept all button, it will actually accept all. Yeah, so don't. So I won't, I won't do that yet. So just if anybody cares, it's under tools and then review suggested edits. Mm. The, the third one down. Ah, yep. okay. And that'll pop up that little box that you already have up. So tools, review, suggested edits. Teamwork makes the dream work. And, and the internet. And, and that, those kinds of, those kinds of uh, observations are why you are a great community manager, Elizabeth. <laughs> but it takes Matt to actually figure out how to do the thing. Yeah, well, I, I, <laughs> so. I mean, I couldn't figure it out, but somebody did. And it was Carter's idea to begin with. So there we go. Truly teamwork. Um, 
in one of the questions did we bought, did we uh, ask how often do branches get created how often do project create branches i don't think we do it will be interesting if we have a question that captures that uh, essence um. Often. Because if we if we are keeping track of how many branches have been deleted or merged, it's good to have a, a, a proportion of how many were created, so we could also see uh, the proportion of things. All right, I have added that, and then I will go to tools where he suggested edits again. All that tools. Maybe click that drop down where it says show suggested edits. Tools. See over in the box on the right. Ah. Uh, so yeah, right there. Preview accept all thing. Oh, thank you, Matt. Once again, our tool wizard. It looks like in the bottom left, because I think Carter's making changes if you just keep refreshing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Somebody's doing a lot of editing right now. That's me. Okay, that's fine. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so give them the refresh button, man. Are, is parameters where we typically put things like time and uh, period? Um, I think so. For so. example, the count of branches, all these counts are interesting, but I'm most interested in seeing the change over time because that tells me more about a particular project practices than the entire life cycle of the project lumped into one graph. Yeah, uh, that's usually where we put like the period of time. Um, for this one, I think that's probably, I don't want to say probably the only parameter. I'm sure there's more. Um, now let's say we have five minutes or four minutes, six minutes and 30 seconds left in this mm -hmm. meeting. I might make each of those, a few of those parameters, Carter, I think like per, uh, period of time, um, period of time um, and like there's the, what dates do you wanna look at this information for, but there's also the, at what level of aggregation do you wanna see the data, the, which I think we call periodicity, like that's our uh, week, month, year, kind of aggregation. Oh, right.
so for the for the aggregators, um, maybe this is somewhere else. Um, but how is there a language difference in how we want to refer to branches that have been opened? There's code pushed to them, but they don't get merged anywhere and then get deleted versus branches that have code pushed to them, get merged and then get deleted. Kind of like closing versus merging a pull request. I think those should we, are- Should we use that kind of same language, like closing a branch? No, not, you don't close a branch, but yeah. does that make sense? Because I think those are important differences. Yeah, I the think- Branch actually goes anywhere. You have abandoned branches, but not really close. Abandoned, I like that Armstrong. Yeah. I, I think, I think the pull request is the action that prompts another action related to the branch, whether it's the deletion of the branch or or the persistence of the branch, right? So like once a pull request begins the branch is processed, it, it may be deleted after one or more pull requests or it may never be deleted. Um, so I think that's sort of these branch creation and destruction acts are, are generally triggered by the pull request. And I I would disagree because okay. I, unless you unless you want to count like git merges on the command line as part of that, but I wouldn't. I view those okay. as separate processes with with different reasons for doing each one and different implications behind it. Okay. So I'm thinking in terms of like mer like merging on the command line even like not even on GitHub. Okay. And that would be vis that would be visible in the Git log. Mm -hmm. And if you push, if you ultimately push the results up to GitHub or GitLab, those local actions are going to appear. Mm -hmm. They're just not visible until the until your work locally is pushed up to the platform. And we're, mm -hmm. we're two minutes. I'll just um, I'll note. So I, maybe we can take this and use just the last two minutes to see if there are people wanting to um, make a little progress and or at least report a status on the pull requests or the issues that we want to create for the next release. All right, can you say that again, Sean? So, so back the on time. the back on the agenda, these are the these are the metrics that we wanna work on for the next release. And I think it would be helpful if one of us looked at each of them prior to the next meeting and was able to provide at least a short report on its status um, and remaining work required. And, and if time permits, maybe do some work on them. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that, that um, so pull request comments and acceptance ratio, um, I'm just going to put AI colon uh, next to each of these. And if anybody wants to fill their name in next to that, that would be awesome. Uh, just remind me again, what's the acronym of AI? Uh, action item. Oh, OK. Thank you. Yeah, which is confusing because sometimes it means artificial intelligence. <laughs> that's, the, that's the talk of the day. <laughs> yeah. Um, and pull request comments exists up here and acceptance ratio does as well. So I'll bold them up here and I'll take the AI out down here so that we don't double up. Mm -hmm. um, also, I will, if it's all right with you guys, I will, I'm going to hold off on taking one of these because I have for the next two weeks a bunch of projects and finals and then I'm graduating. That's totally so I, I don't want to take something because I probably won't be able to get to it. But after that, I'll have plenty of time to, to work on it. So I might not be able to do anything this week, but I can definitely help um, after all of my classes are over. Yeah. And I think we I think we do want to we've done a lot of work under this um, branch um, life cycle. And mm -hmm. I, I think we want to. I think I think I think it's just flat out in progress. There's no question. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna add that. 
that may in fact be the one that's most mm -hmm. advanced of all of them um, at this point. I mean, the action item could be just next meeting, we move it into a an issue, you know, yeah. and the mark the markdown, we could just take care of that next next time. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I, for me, the minimum I'm going to do is at least I'm going to look at each of these and have a brief uh, statement about its status. Uh, do we have any working document already, or we have to create a template and start working on it? In, in all of the cases where they are in progress and on that list, there's an existing Google document. So none I mean, of the, I mean the one that you are you are flagging right now with AI. Like um, each, yes, each of these is listed as in progress and has a, a current Google document linked in the spreadsheet. Okay, that, that makes it uh, clear enough. So I don't mind to, I'll just try to see where you've skipped and then I can fit my name in a couple of those. Yeah, I've, I've taken, I think I've, I've added as much um, as, as I'm gonna be able to take on. Um, and again, it's just, it's not an expectation that necessarily you do any work on the, on the metric, but at least uh, review its status and be able to uh, just report briefly to the group uh, mm -hmm. the scale of work involved. For example, some of these that we say are in progress may have templates and little else. Um, yeah. So, I mean, with with that in mind, I would, you know, you're welcome. I'm going to leave this document open. You're welcome to fill it in if you want to add more. But I am now two and a half minutes over time, and I'm going to say uh, good good night and. Uh, <laughs> Good. I can't remember what Walter Cronkite closed with, but whatever he said, thank you. <laughs> and um, this is the end of the evolution meeting on December 2nd, 2020.